Greetings from the uh, Global Organization for Divinity Australia. It is often said that the one thing that we all need in life is the guidance of a spiritual master or a guru as we call in, in, in the Indian language. This word guru is it's, it's a very popular word these days and it is used to denote the one that we learn from. When we learn anything from somebody, we call them the guru. It's, it's, it's almost become a word that has found its way into the dictionary today. But what is the real meaning of this word guru? When we travel by train in India, when we travel through some parts in India, we get this nice little thing to drink, like how you have the juices and everything. What they do is they give you yogurt, sweet yogurt, and they give it to you in this beautiful mud pot. It looks very beautiful. It's very artistically done. And what you do is you basically drink it out of it and it's like you and throw. You just throw it and break it after that so that nobody uses it again. It's just one use and, and that's it. So we all do it. We all do it very often. And we do it in such quickness that we do not even notice how beautiful it is, how beautiful that pot of mud is. And uh, we do not appreciate the effort that has gone into making it, making that pot. Because if, if somebody were to ask us to make a pot like that, that is when we realize how difficult it is to do something like that. If you, if you ever try doing it on the potter's wheel, you will know how difficult it is and the amount of training that you need to undergo to be able to mold clay and make a mud pot out of it. To learn that, the only way we can learn that, master that art, is by learning it under a very experienced potter. You have to go, you have to be with him, you have to sit with him, you have to learn the tricks of the trade very patiently and only then can we master that art. So to learn something as simple as the mud pot, which we do not even give a thought into when we just drink and throw it away, it takes that amount of dedication, that amount of training under an accomplished potter. Only then will we, will we master that art. And the same can be said of, of anything that we learn in life itself. Say you want to become a doctor. What you need to do is you have to train under another well-trained, accomplished doctor. If you want to practice law, you have to train under, under a, a very senior lawyer who is, who is master in that, in that field. So to learn something that is of this world, things that we understand itself, we need that kind of training, dedicated, focused training. A lot of time and effort has to go into it under that accomplished teacher and that is when we are going to master that art. When that is the case, when that is the case, while talking about God, while talking about that supreme truth, while talking about all those things, the one thing that all scriptures, that all saints, uh, they all say it in one voice that this, this phenomenon is beyond anything that you can ever imagine. They say that it's beyond your intellect. You cannot measure it with your intellect. Your intellect itself functions because of that God. It says that it's beyond the reach of your sense organs, the five sense organs. And, and when such is the case that you are trying to learn about something that is beyond the reach of our intellect, our thought process, how can we do it without the guidance of somebody who has already done it? Somebody who knows his way through these things. Somebody who knows how to connect us from one end to that God, that supreme truth that lies at the other end. So that, that somebody, that, that somebody is Guru. He is that spiritual master. He is the one that can help us cross from this end to that end to help 
realize that godliness that lies within every one of us. Because the one thing again that they say, if you have to attain God, you have to be devoted to him. You have to have that love for him. That love has to come from you, from within, and you have to have that love for him. And when, when that happens, you will automatically progress spiritually, it is said. That's what, that's what all the religions and all faiths teach us. If, if you're talking about headache, I understand headache because I've had it at some point of time. So I know how it feels. If you're talking about how it feels when you win a lottery, I know how it feels because I won it sometime or I know people that have won the lottery. So I know how it feels. But if you talk about having this love for God who I do not understand, I do not understand that thing at all because I have never experienced it. I cannot find it in the books. I do not know anybody who has gone through this. So how do I understand this concept itself? How do I learn it? So the only way, the only way we can learn such a thing is to surrender to that master, that spiritual master, that guru who has mastered that art, who knows how to have that love for God. Love for God for the sake of love itself and not with any other motive. So the only way we are going to learn that is from that accomplished spiritual master, the Guru. And that is why he plays the most vital role in our life itself. Because the purpose of life itself is to get there. To realize that God, to realize that higher truth. And, and that can happen only by surrender to the Guru.